not anymore. So uh, let's do this one, PCL5. So we're trying to do this hybridization thing here, okay? So how do we justify, because we would expect, of course, um, uh, hopefully everybody thinks phosphorus in the middle of this molecule, right? Um, all the chlorines are on the periphery, and phosphorus is um, rehybridizing, being, becoming hypervalent. Is everybody okay with that, that thought process, right? So how does that happen? Right? So, well, we got to think of the valence electrons and um, phosphorus, okay, and where they're located, right? So, um, let's go ahead and write those valence electrons. So, uh, the 3s, the 3p, and remember we skip that 4s, right, and go to the 3d. Should be able to predict that it would be trigonal by pyramidal, right? The five, five bonds. So it should look like this. I guess you've got a 90 degree angle between those, but here you've got a 120 degree angle, and here you've got a 180 degree. Is everybody okay with that? So if you want to, I can pass this thing around. So here we can do this for you guys. So, of course, those bond angles are not 90 degrees, or at least not all of them. So, we need to be able to make five bonds, okay? Um, how do we do that? Well, we need five orbitals to do that, and five electrons, which we've got five electrons, and we've got more than five orbitals. So, the ones that we're going to use are the ones that are lowest in energy first, of course. So, all of the S's all one of the S's, all three of the P's, and that would give us four orbitals, so we need still one more. So we gotta go snag one of those D's, okay? 
So if we're using 1s, 3p's, and 1d, what is the hybridized orbital still? Sp, Sp 3d. And we put how many into the blender? Five, right? So let's write hybridized here. So we're going to get how many out? Five. Five. So one, two, three, four, five. And they're all going to be equivalent in energy. And we're still going to have our four 3D orbitals up there, okay, up higher. Everybody okay with that? Now we're going to fill our orbitals, our hybridized orbitals, our sp3d orbitals, and hopefully now we realize that we can make five bonds. Okay. And again, I guess we use chlorine again. So remember chlorine. That's going to give us the Lewis structure. Phosphorus can do this because it's period three or below. So 
here, bond angle 90 degrees, here, what is that? an octahedral one eventually. I'd like to get back and do a smaller one. Is there any, any other questions on this one? 